Hugs and tears inside the courtroom as two men were finally cleared of a murder they didn't commit. WFAA's Kevin Reese shows us how the prosecution's lies sent two innocent men to jail. His name was the Reverend Jesse Borns Jr. and he died in Oak Cliff, stabbed to death more than 40 times. And 19 years ago, Dennis Allen and Stanley Mosey were convicted, sentenced to prison, locked away for 15 years before they got a second chance. A uh, former prosecutor who lied, basically, to get these convictions. Lawyers proved that prosecutors withheld evidence, made deals with criminal informants to falsely testify against them. The convictions overturn and originally freed from prison four years ago, the men would get their final victory today. It takes a brave person to do what is right. Allen stood to thank the current district attorney as they were declared actually innocent, Raquel with Judge Raquel, Raquel Jones leading her courtroom in applause. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, you have free innocent men. <laughs> the men received a public apology from current district attorney John Crusoe, then talked with us about their 19-year ordeal. Being arrested and convicted was like being, you know, kidnapped and held hostage. So for me, it's like uh, being released from, from hostage, from bondage. And so it's a beautiful day for me. It's been a long journey, and if I had my struggles with it, I've, I've, I've been up and down, but I never lost faith. You know, some wrongful convictions happen because of innocent mistakes, because eyewitnesses make a mistake in a lineup and identify the wrong person. This was a case where the eyewitnesses said from the beginning that it was not Dennis Allen and it was not Stanley Mosey, and the jury never heard that information. The men are now eligible to be compensated financially for the time they spent in prison. As for the murder, the case is still open and 19 years later, still unsolved. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.